Mr. Muhammad Buhari, in his eight years as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, many call him as one of the greatest nepotic person because of his kind of appointment as he spread his appointment across his northern brothers and Nigerians never look back as they continue to criticize him from the first day he assumed office until the last day he left the office as a president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And it never stopped with him as his successor, also an APC member, President Bola Ahmed Tinibu, has taken his full step uh, by you know appointing his kingsmen as well as people from his origin or his state. You know, and this continued to spark a lot of reactions across Nigeria. Welcome to Elik TV, and this is Jay. Now, the recent appointment by the president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, you know, has sparked a lot of reactions across Nigeria, across different political spectrum, as to why is he trying to reward his uh, people, you know, with such kind of appointment. Many expected that such position should be given to an experienced individual you know who has worked within the soils of nigeria or abroad in order to drive the nigerian roles and other you know emergency issues concerning the federal republic of nigeria forward but then personally if you ask me i would say that being a 24 or 25 years old is not something that people should call for uh, his head but then what baffles me and you know the most surprising thing among the whole of this appointment especially to this farmer is the fact that the young man is a 24 year old who was born in December 20, 27 1998 and he graduated from Britain University with a first class degree in mechanical engineering and Kashima also earned his MSc from the same university in business management. He was a member of the 2022 batch of the National Youth Service NYC. And then, you know, to went further, he is the son of Kashim Ibrahim. Uh, he is the son of Matawali, the current chairman of Ted Fund. Now, you see, when you look at the appointments that goes to uh, NNPC, you look at the appointments that goes to uh, the Federal Inland Revenue, you look at the appointment that goes to most of those Jewish positions, it's somebody's son, you know, one of the politician's son or daughter that has been appointed into those, uh, you know, some of those agencies. And not just giving them a job, they take that MD position, they take the, 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 the you know, the top position in some of those companies or I mean agency, you know, of Nigerian government. But when you look at a common man in Nigeria, you need like 15, 20 years of experience in order to get an, a common, you know, employment, not even an empty position, a supervision position. For example, in, most of us have experienced some of those things. And then, but for those who are calling on the head of the young man, if the guy is uh, uh, well schooled, not just well schooled. He have one or two, I believe, he might have gotten one or two experience in terms of trying to drive such big agency. Um, I believe that uh, he will be able to do the nice work. But then, my question now is this: He, his father, is the current chairman of Ted Fund, so um, he is also a Nigerian and should be given also equal treatment to other Nigerians. But the, the call from many Nigerians is that how can you employ or maybe give in such a huge position to somebody whose his father is already a chairman of another prominent or big person that it shows that our politicians only what they think about is how to um, you know empower their family and, and ask the poor or the common Nigerians to pray for the country to get better and one of the reactions is uh, from Yemi of uh, Lagos. He said, "Now trend, new trend, new trend. Now APC cabals will start appointing their sons and daughters into government offices." And uh, this one said, "That number five killed it all. I thought he would be the son of nobody." And the other one said, "Isn't someone with civil engineering experience experience ought to have?" this agency me i am tired of nigeria i beg 
with all of this with all of his foreign academic accomplishment he cannot test himself abroad the nigerian government will have to provide a job for him first class indeed now you will see where this person is coming from, let me dwell a bit on it. Where this person is coming from, if you look at it critically, it's just like the president, Paul Amitinibu, saying that he graduated with high honor, he graduated with a lot of degree, first class and all of that. But now we can see that his first class is really challenged by Atiku Abubakar, of which the Chicago State University have testified under oath that the certificate that he is parading with never emanates from them. You know, this sparked a lot of reactions among Nigerians uh, and instead causing reactions as they keep breaking, waiting for the Supreme Court to start the hearing before then, as Nigerians hope that Paula Ahmed Tinibu will eventually be vacating from that office as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What do you think about this? Don't forget, as I always say, politicians don't really care about what they feel or what they think, all they care about is their pockets. So, tread with caution.